do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students in this video we'll discuss about uh, finding the expression for acceleration due to gravity at a certain depth d below the surface of the earth so let us find out the expression hello students let us uh, find the expression for this expression we are going to find that means the question is that if i have this is my earth and uh, this is the surface this is the center i'll take take this body from here to any point here suppose so this distance so how much distance i have taken inside it is a uh, d kilometer suppose so this distance is d in kilometers this is the center o this point is suppose a and this point is suppose b so ab equals to d is the distance of the object placed uh, distance of the object placed below the surface of earth and uh, ob is the this distance is the this is r this is the distance of object from center of earth this is this and oa is the radius oa is radius of earth now i will draw the diagram for uh, our uh, expression this point is here now center the body is taken inside this point this distance is d this distance is d and this point is i have taken as a this point is taken as b this point is my o when the body is here how much portion of the earth is beneath it is this much portion of the earth which is lying below this so what is the acceleration due to gravity here that is the question g at this position inside part so it is at the d this g d represents acceleration due to gravity at a depth d below the surface of earth uh, on the surface at a the value of acceleration due to gravity is z which is given by gm over r square at this position what i'll write i'll write uh, what that is our question to we'll find the expression of gd in terms of g so i can definitely write one thing that uh, this point this object is here and below this this small much portion of the mass of the earth is uh, lying below that is this is the effective mass of the planet so whose radius is ob so when i consider the, this uh, r square here this r is this total uh, distance r 
because the object was here on the surface so under this the total mass of the planet was there when the object is here then the total mass of the planet is not uh, below this only this much portion of the earth is below this so this in this situation this will be our effective radius suppose that is r prime so for a gd uh, like that corresponding to this r prime the mass of this uh, dotted planet is suppose m prime so therefore zd it will be Z, capital Z, that is not going to change. M dash upon uh, this R dash square. GM over R square. Now we have our aim is to express this M prime in terms of this total mass M of the Earth, R prime in terms of the total radius R of the Earth. Now from here, I write that uh, how to get the relationship between M dash and M and R dash and R. Now for this situation, we'll uh, just uh, uh, include one uh, assumption that the density of the planet is constant. When you say that density of the planet is constant, that means it is a uh, mass upon volume is constant. When you say that the mass upon volume is constant, that means that uh, this uh, is true for uh, the whole of the mass m and radius r, or the dotted portion. The dotted portion is supposed like that. That is, the radius is uh, r prime and mass is m prime. When the mass is here, it is representing the surface of the earth. When it is here, it is representing uh, GD that is below that. Okay, this part is clear. So we want to establish the relations between these two uh, um, densities and then we will relate the masses of this with that and radius with that. If I write the density of this uh, bigger planet, the whole planet, then it is uh, density is mass m over volume. Volume is spherical, so it is 4 by 3 pi of r cube. And if I find the density of this one, then this is the mass is m dash divided by 4 by 3 pi r dash cube. So the density must be same. If I equate that, then uh, 4 by 3 pi, 4 by 3 pi will cancel. And I am left with m over r cube. Is equal to m prime over r prime q. Now I have uh, g uh, g d is equal to g m prime over r prime square because z is g m over r square. This I can write as g m prime over r prime r one square. Then uh, uh, I will uh, write uh, m prime as uh, this into this. That means from here, m prime can be replaced by m over r cube into r prime cube. This I will replace, I will put it here in this expression m over r cube r prime cube divided by r prime square. So from here, what I'm getting is Gm over R cube into this will cancel and R prime is there. So this is the value of Gd I'm getting here. And what is our uh, R dash or R prime? That way to write. Then uh, this is uh, this uh, can be written as and this can be written as. A gm over r square into r dash over r okay this is q the square into r this is your small g that is on the surface of the earth and uh, r dash over r this is the value of gd now this gd gd can be written as g into what i got last time r prime over r what is r prime r prime is uh, you can see here
what is r prime r prime is this radius this radius this radius means uh, this distance this is r prime that means the total distance minus this distance the total distance is r and from here du i will subtract and i will get r prime so basically r prime is nothing but r minus d if i substitute that then i'm getting r minus d over r this is equal to g into this will be 1 minus d over r so this is the final expression for uh, this question so this is the value of acceleration due to gravity inside the surface of the earth which is g into 1 minus d or r okay at the depth e below the surface of the earth so this is how it is now this is the final expression if i want to plot the graph of that then what i'll get i'll just use uh, this one here the r dash nothing but small r because uh, you can see here when the object is here then this is my r because r is always measured from the center when the object is at a height h here my r is from here to here so this is how you think of r so you can see from here what is my r uh, r is what r is the location or position of the object from the center of the earth so when it is here when you talk about this point this is my r when i talk about this point this is my r smaller and when they talk about the point which is above the earth's surface then this is my r so the r smaller stands for the position of object from the or distance of the object from the center of earth from the center of the earth so this r prime is r which i will write here then i uh, will get uh, gd is a g uh, r over r or uh, because these two are constants only r is changing so i'll write the gd is proportional to r so if i plot the graph of this this is my g this is my r this is my r then uh, from inside if i put uh, d equals to r then gd will become zero that means when the object is taken when the object is taken from this point uh, to the center from here i'll keep on moving and to reach this center when you reach the center this d is equal to the radius because it is measured from here i keep on moving my d is increasing when i reach here that will become equal to r so at the center d value you have to put r when i put d value r here then this r minus r is zero so gd will be zero so on the surface uh, from the at the center g value will be zero so the graph will start from here and up to r equals to r on the surface uh, when you put uh, d equals to zero then we talk about the when the, uh, <clears throat> on the surface so on the surface so before that what relation are you getting z is proportional to r that means that it is a, a linear relationship uh, a straight line equation so from here to the surface as we move from the center of the earth toward the surface if we keep on moving then the value of g will increase and maximum at the surface and what relation they will increase this is directly proportional to r so this will be like that okay where from here this one represents the slope of this graph the slope here is uh, g over r that is the point this is a straight line equation so gd is proportional to r inside and outside it is exponentially downward that we discussed last time okay in terms of vector it will be downward in terms of just only in terms of magnitude then it is like that okay so this is uh, 
the uh, expression for uh, acceleration due to gravity uh, at a certain depth uh, below the surface and as well as we have seen the graph which builds a straight line equation okay that's all in this video thank you